In my last video, I implemented a simple mechanum drive teleop mode. Let's update that teleop mode so that we can also spin. All right, so inside the mechanum teleop, we're going to find the mechanum teleop class, which holds all our teleop code. We're going to alter the run op mode to also allow us to spin. So go down in the code, find the while loop that runs while the op mode is active. And this is where we're going to update the code to make it so that we can spin when we're driving. All right, this chunk of code right here is the code that we're t using to do our normal driving, forward, backward, left, and right. We're going to add some code in here at the beginning to read the value from the right joystick, which I'm going to use to control the spinning. To do that, I'm going to declare a variable. That's a double, meaning it's a decimal, and it's going to be called spin, and it's going to take the value from the gamepad, and I specifically want the x value because that's going to be the left-right movement indicating the spin. All right, let's look at the robot from above. If we want to turn clockwise, the right side needs to drive in reverse, and the left side needs to drive forward. For counterclockwise, I need the left side to go in reverse and the right side to go forward. All right, back to the code. We want to know if someone's pressing the spin joystick. So we're going to say if, and we're going to do the absolute value of spin, is greater than one-tenth, then we're going to do something. And I could do absolute value of spin is greater than zero, meaning that you're pushing it at all. But if you slightly bump the joystick, you don't want it to spin. So I'm going to make sure that the amount that you're pushing it is substantial enough to really mean you want to spin. So we're going to say less than one-tenth. Now we need to tell the motors how they're supposed to drive so that we spin correctly. So the right side motors are going to be at the opposite spin because if you push the joystick to the right, the right wheels need to go back so that it turns clockwise when looking from above. The left side motors are going to get the positive spin because they need to go forward when you push the joystick to the right. Now with the way I'm writing this program, you're either spinning or you're driving. So if we're spinning, we run the code inside the if block. And then we're going to put an else block around the normal driving code. So we're either doing the spin code, and if we're not spinning, we're going to do the normal drive code. Just adding some comments so that if you go back and want to read the code later and you need a reminder, the comments there help you remember what the code is doing. And to indicate it's going to be a comment, you put two slashes in front of it. All right, you can see that my telemetry has some errors in it. They got little red squiggly lines. And the reason why is the x1, y1, x2, y2 values haven't necessarily been initialized with some value, so you can't use them. So I'm going to go up to where the variables are defined and then give them initial values of zero. And that doesn't really matter because later on those values will be populated when the joystick is used. Alright, let's download it and see how it works. Spinning is working. Normal driving appears to be working. So moving the joystick to the left and right makes it spin. Moving it forward and back does nothing because we don't read that value from the joystick.